everyone, it's Mike Kless and it is Wednesday, February 7th, a week before the National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky, and we are here to start setting up for this show. So we got most of the equipment here, waiting on a front wheel assist tractor yet, it's supposed to be here today, it'll be here tomorrow, so just kind of hanging out, we got everything put together so far out here on the... And out here in the parking lot so far, we have the new Versatile uh, 610 Delta Track tractor that'll be on display and one of the new Versatile Fury high-speed discs. So before we can move the equipment inside, uh, have to come in here and make sure the carpet's down. So our display will be on carpet as most of them are here. So they're supposed to be laying our carpet down today, so we're going to walk over to where our display is. They're getting some of the carpet down for other people. So we'll go over here and check this out and see what they got done. Yeah. Alright, I think that's the Vermeer booth right there, putting the padding down and then the carpet. So go over here we're going to be right up here the versatile and farm king display there's uh there's our wood boxes and there's the carpet up there and roll so it's not down yet so just have to patiently wait secret to setting up this show and like why we like to get here so early is uh everyone's trying to get in so the first day they get your carpet down you want to run this big equipment in and get it parked so you don't have to fight and try to work around everybody else so there's the carpet, and we'll just wait again, and uh, hopefully they'll get it done for us. All right, so now the front wheel assist tractor showed up. So as you can see, it went through some winter weather. We got this new Versatile 365 front wheel assist tractor. And to celebrate 25 years of mechanical front wheel assist tractors being built at the Winnipeg, Manitoba factory, they made a special limited edition black one for this farm show. Tractor is fresh from the factory, so it's a good two-day trip down here from uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba to the Louisville, Kentucky area. And I was just going to get the trailer detached here, and we'll back it off. Uh, Ryan there is cleaning the salt off the back window so we can see when he's backing it off. And we've got to get the doles put on, but this is how a front wheel assist tractor ships from the factory. It doesn't have the doles on it or the mirrors, stuff like that. So we uh, got the tractor off the trailer. And I'm uh, going to walk over to where they're washing it off, walking past some of the cloth equipment. And we thought we'd just take a chance here and spray this, what we could off before we put the dolls on so we don't have the salt rubbing up against our cover holes and everything else. So there you go. All right, now that we got most of the salt off of it, Ryan will drive it back over. I'll meet him over by my truck. And uh, as I'm walking over, here comes a new cloth uh, Jaguar forage harvester in for the show. And there's one of their new Axion tractors. As far as I know, this will be the first showing of that at a farm machinery show. First time I've seen it, actually. So, uh, walk by their combine and back over to my truck. And there's a John Deere 8370R. I would imagine it's going in the John Deere booth. Uh, at least you would think that. So, And here we go, over by the tire truck up next. So, they're going to get the doles picked up. I'll run the tractor up on some blocks. And uh, they'll pick that up and can just set that tire right up beside there. It's a pretty nice way of doing it. But these guys deal with uh, large industrial equipment and so forth. So this might be a little overkill for a farm tractor. But uh, as you can see, it's going to get the job done. We'll put this in fast forward and uh, real quick as we get the dual tires on here. And now the doles are on, I got the mirrors on, the markers down, looks a lot better. A lot better looking tractor with the doles on it. So just need to finish washing it off here, checking on the carpet, padding's down, and they are ready to go. So 
we're in pretty good shape as far as that goes. Let's go back outside now and check our progress here. They got the tractor all washed up, ready to go. Just need to peel some of them stickers off the tires and whatnot. So I uh, just wanted a little video of this tractor in action. So I got my uh, one of my coworkers, Ryan, to drive it around for me. This is not as good as being in the field, but it's going to have to do for now. What a great looking tractor in that black color scheme. Please comment below and uh, let everyone know your thoughts, what you think of that. If uh, I was told if there's enough interest in this, Versatile may do a limited run and make like 25 of these. And uh, we're back inside here. Carpet is about complete. And as you see, there's plastic over the carpet, so that's how they protect it. So uh, lay the carpet down, put plastic on, tape it down, then we can drive the tractors and the equipment in, place it, and so forth. The carpet doesn't get damaged, and then uh, the night before the show starts, come in with carpenter knives and cut around the tires and whatnot, peel the plastic up, and everything just looks great. So this is just about done. We can start running equipment in here. So let's uh, see what's done so far. Here's a little lot on the Farm King side. So Versatown Farm King. Same company, two different divisions, so the Farm King display over there is all set up. Let's uh, walk a little farther and see what's going on here. We'll just walk by some other displays. And uh, this is Thursday night before the show. Things are starting to progress here. Walk by J&M. Looks like they got some of their stuff in and set up, ready to go. Here's Coon Knight. And they are really in good shape. They're pretty well set up. Somebody's missing right here. I think that's Coyote Tractor. And uh, just walked by Kinsey. They're getting their booth set up. There's their new high-speed disc they're introducing. There's the cost display. The new uh, Axion tractor on triple mowers. Front stage and center on the cost display. All right, I just got word we can start moving equipment in here. So it's about uh, 6.30 here Thursday night. And let's go out and get one of the tractors and start running equipment inside for the show setup. I'm going to move the 365 here. So some of you may wonder, I have some videos of a Versatile 360 and now the 365. So uh, there was a, just a couple minor changes. So uh, for 2018, the 360 has now become the 365. So let's get uh, going to jump up here and uh, start this up, move it out of the way, and then go over and jump in the Delta track and drive it inside for the show. And the 365 is out of the way, so let's hop up in the Delta track here and uh, I can run this in yet. I'm inside the building so as we creep up on our display here what you want to do uh, turning these tractors on the carpet these big tractors and stuff you would rip the carpet right up so you want to line up figure out where you want your tractor and uh, mess around there where there's no carpet get it lined up and back it as straight on as possible oh now it is Tuesday the day before the show and uh, got everything on uh, on the plastic over the carpet we're just about ready to go here so uh, they have the counters up the tower up and so forth just need to get these crates out of the way signs in place and they're ready to come in and cut the plastic take the plastic off and looks like we're ready to have a farm show here and that's pretty well gonna do it that's uh, basically the setup for an indoor farm show so stay tuned, I plan on doing a video of the show itself and uh, going around uh, and checking out some other displays, whatnot, the versatile display and uh, like I said, hopefully in the next few days plan to upload a video of the 
entire farm show. So thanks for watching this one. Just uh, giving everyone a little idea of what's involved setting up an indoor farm show. Thanks for watching my video.